Hey guys, don't forget, we do lives every Wednesday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Also, if you want some sharpening services, all my links are down in the description at the very bottom to my Instagram and my email. You can contact me through there. Also, the Patreon link is down there too if you want to become a Patreon. We do have a giveaway coming up here really soon. Let's get into this. Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work and today we are checking out the Zero Tolerance 0095. Now this one does have a couple unique features that you're not going to see on every Zero Tolerance 0095. We'll get into that in just a moment. But yeah, let's get into it. Thank you Talica for sending me this knife with also a couple other knives to check out. I really appreciate it. And this knife's overall length is eight and three eighths with a three and a half inch blade. A couple size comparisons. Here's the Benchmade 940-1. And then here is the Hogue Ritter RSK MK1. The, the Hogue Ritter is close, but it is a little tiny bit smaller than it. And then here is... The Hinder Eclipse that Talica also sent. And the Eclipse is the same length as the 3.5 inch XM18. So if you know that one a little bit better, they're basically the exact same size. And then um, we'll just do one more. A lot of people know the Code 4 by Cold Steel. And they're pretty similar, but the Code 4 is just a pinch longer. All right, let's get into this knife. So, one unique thing is it does have this hinder clip. Another unique thing is that it has some skiff um, bearings in it. So it's got some aftermarket bearings. I'm gonna show you a picture of it right now. Also, when you're looking at these bearings, you're gonna notice that they are nice and thick. You can see it's thicker than even a penny. They're very thick brass, multi-row bearings, and the bearings do come out, but they do fit nice and snug in there, so you have to actually push them out. But yeah, very cool. And then it does have a rolling detent, as you can see. The detent is a rolling detent. You can't adjust it, but it is a rolling detent. So. We'll get into the action here in just a moment. First, let's talk about the, the blade. So the blade is kind of a drop point blade, uh, maybe a clip point. It does have a little bit of a harpoonish right here, but it is a flat ground blade. Um, I kind of consider this a little bit of a sheep's foot. It's mostly all belly, but because of that clip point or the taper down, it works very good um, for utility purposes. You have a lot of belly there for slicing and for push cuts, but it works also very good for using the tip utility wise because you're going to get a lot of leverage very easily without lifting your arm all the way up in the air to get to the tip. You can easily get to the tip and put lots of leverage, basically all the weight into that tip if you want to the blade geometry it's okay could be better the the thickness of the grind is actually pretty decent it's not an overly thick blade um and you can see the tip it's not uh it's not a weak tip but it is nice and acute enough to where it's going to be strong and you know good for utility but the spine of the blade isn't overly thick or nothing but it is 20 thousandths behind the edge so they could have went thinner behind the edge but i guess they were going for a little bit more of a harder use but it does cut very well because the spine isn't very thick so this thing does cut pretty doggone good now um, the ergos, the ergos are fantastic. I usually look for a little bit more of a straight back design where it's just straight across, but this one has a little bit of a taper. So it has a straight part right here and then it tapers down, but that fills the palm really nicely actually. So it actually is very comfortable in the hand. And the fact that they have this harpoon spot right there makes a nice spot for my thumb to lay. This feels very good in the hand. By the way, I did use this and sharpen it we'll 
get to that in just a moment. So, um, but the ergos though, you know, they give you a little finger spot, you know, where you're going to be unlocking the knife. And right here is a nice three finger spot that gives you a good taper. And they have some, um, some mill lines on the edges here where they uh, tapered the edges. They, it, it doesn't feel round in the hand by no means, but because it has the thickness it has, which to me is not thick, but it's not thin. It's right there in that sweet spot. If it was any thinner, I would call it thin, but it's not thick either. But because of that, mixed with these chamfers on the edges with the that little bit of grippiness, it gives it um, a better feel than I think it would have if it was just flat edges, you know, but it is flat here, as you can see, so it still does feel flat, but then it also has a little bit of a roundness to it around where your fingers and, you know, your thumb wraps around. I do feel the clip right here. This is an aftermarket clip, so I can't speak for what the clip feels like from, um, you know, the factory clip. And anybody who's ever used a hinder clip knows they work well. I'm get, guessing that's why he put it on there because they do work so well. Now, they're not deep carry by no means, but it gives you something to pull out of your pocket. But they do work very well. And this one works really good. They got a good tension, easy in and out of the pocket. But with this one, I do feel it just a little bit. It just happens to land right there on my thing, on my hand, like right on the bone. But it's not that bad. It's actually still pretty comfortable, and I can just manipulate my hands in a way to where it gets more and more comfortable. Cutting with this thing works great. I actually find that this is a, it's joyful to use. It's it's nice to use. It feels good in the hand. It cuts pretty good. Um, it could cut better, but it cuts pretty good. Um, so I find myself liking and enjoying to use this. And that's what's very important about a knife is the fact that you, you like using it. You know, when you think of other knives to grab, the one that you want to grab the most, that's probably the one you enjoy using the most. So I do enjoy using it. The blade does have this, um, you can see I just cleaned it, but it does have the coating on it along with the handle, which has a stone washing all the way across. I like that because then it's going to hold back on scratches and nicks and dings because it's already all nicked and dinged and scratched, which I like it. You know, it's got a consistent uh, stone wash all the way up and down it, which is really nice. The blade is an S35 VN, which is a good blade steel. It's nice and tough, good stain resistance. And it's, uh, you know, it holds a pretty good edge. And it's pretty, pre usually pretty easy to sharpen. Now, usually. Now, um, let's get into this action. I know you guys are waiting for the action. So, when I first got this, it was not like this. So, I was kind of curious because when I first opened it up, the action wasn't how I would imagine some aftermarket uh, multi-row bearings. You know, especially from Skiff. So I took it apart and all the bearings were packed with gunk. I could not clean it out. And that was another thing that I was kind of confused on because I was trying to clean it out without taking it apart. I didn't want to take it apart. And um, I was trying and trying, could not get it. Well, then when I took it apart, that those bearings, they were all packed with gunk. So that's why the bearings, they weren't rolling. And then the, the rolling bearing... Um, right here was rolling and it's not adjustable, but it is a rolling bearing or a rolling detent, I should say, but nice, easy access to unlock. The lock bar is, is, um, more exposed than the scale and it has a good chamfer. So it's nice and comfortable to unlock and then very smooth. Um, the detent on it, it's a little bit on the lighter side, but very appropriate with these bearings at first though when i was on when i was trying to open it it would just go like that now i could force it you know e easily i could very easily force it you know and smack it open reliably but it wasn't as enjoyable as i thought it could you know it should be now that these bearings are cleaned out fresh nice and oiled the action is very nice it's got a very consistent feel to it also it wasn't drop shutty at all like i had to like shake it but now it's uh pretty drop shutty but it's uh more of a luxurious drop the consistency 
all right here it's basically the same so like the tension i feel from here to here is the exact same it's very nice and controlled and that's another thing it's got a very controlled drop to it and the detent, even though it is on the lighter side and I could can fail it if I want to, not a big deal because it's also very reliable to open. And you can push button it or light switch it very easily. And unlocking it, the detent ball is right there. If you do hold up high on the lock bar, it will hit the detent ball, which you can swing past if you want, or you can just push past without a problem but if you just hold a little bit down on the lock bar the flipper tab does hit your finger and it is past the detent ball it is nice and centered i also really like that it's only a two-piece construction with big hardware yes there's little hardware on the clip and you know where you replace the clip but you don't need to take those off unless if you're left-handed and you like to carry it in the left pocket but you don't have to take them off to take the scales apart it's just two pieces this one and this one bang comes right apart nice and easy i like that um fit and finish is really good stop pin could be a little bit bigger but it's not that big of a deal it still locks up very reliably and it is locked up solid very nice so and also if i really want to i can middle finger flick it because of the texture right here and they got this uh you know flat right there i can basically get my finger right there on that flat and bang pop it right open now let's get into some bad things because there are a couple one you know you guys know i don't like t6s i'm not a big fan of them but you know in this case it's only on the the clip even on the lock bar insert is a t8 so that's great and i like that it's just the two-piece construction nice big hardware but um it, it doesn't have a d-shaped pivot it is a free spinning pivot i'm not really that big of a fan of it but at least they put a bit on the other side so you just got to use two t8s to take it apart one on each side not that big of a deal but i would rather have seen a captured one um next thing is and this is probably i'll just get right into the the part that i dislike the most so i did sharpen it i did use it i liked using it um it had an edge from apostle p on it and he uses a fixed angled system so i already seen this from the start but it did have a bunch of edge damage that needed to be sharpened out you know it wasn't going to get honed out it wasn't going to get dropped out it had to be sharpened so i did put a new edge on it and i already knew this was going to be the case but if you look really closely right here okay just right there you're gonna see like a shadow it's like a line you guys see that line right there that line is a thinner grind so when they ground this blade they left a spot a lot thinner right there and that's why on the edge you see that it go from this is the same angle all the way across but you notice how it's thicker here and thicker here and then thinner right there the edge that's because of that grind and i even noticed the same thing from the fixed angled system so i knew you know being a pinpointed spot even as a freehander i'm not going to be able to not have that now if it was just like the whole half of the blade and the other half of the blade yeah i could i could manipulate my angle as i'm going across the stone but since it's one pinpointed area it is what it is and you can kind of see that spot that i'm talking about as i move the blade around a little bit um now the other side still has it but it has a little bit closer to the handle you'll kind of see it right there well right on top of where the thinner part of the edge is it's not as bad on this side but it's still there and then the edge thickness kind of tapers from here all the way forward thinner and thinner up to the tip which is normal so that's pretty consistent i wish the sharpening choil 
wasn't the way it was. I wish they would have just came out to about right here. Then there wouldn't be that little smile right there. Not a big deal. Um, but, you know, it would have been nice if they just would have cut in a bigger sharpening choil. Or at least a sharpening choil. Because that is not a sharpening choil. It literally lands right on the plunge grind. Now, um, you know, the last edge really didn't have it that big of a deal, but you know, that's how it goes. You know, a lot of times you'll get a, one or two sharpenings out of it, but then eventually you're going to hit the plunge grind. So not that big of a deal and you know, whatever. Anyways, um, so that is the worst thing to me. Now, let me just say this really quick. I have a zero tolerance 0450 that has a bad heat treat and it is very bad it's the worst heat treat i've ever seen on a knife that's of good quality and the zero tolerance 0450 isn't a cheap knife it's like 170 180 dollars so it's not a cheap knife by no means but it has a horrible heat treat on it and i've never been able to sharpen it out i've done lots of sharpenings on it it's just a bad heat treat on the whole blade not from uh, burnt edge or anything like that so i was kind of worried maybe that this i was hoping this wasn't going to have the same issue and it doesn't this one seems like it has a decent heat treat i can't say that it has a great one or anything like that i did use it but you know i can't speak on it that much because it's not like i got you know a cut test from it or anything like that but it sharpened up just fine you know using it, it worked just fine and now it has a very beautiful mirror edge on it that is very very sticky and sharp and um yeah very nice nice and flat too if my camera my camera doesn't like it when things reflect at it soon i am going to get more studio equipment so that we don't keep getting all this blurriness and stuff hopefully i'll be getting a new camera soon or a new phone i should say but all in all, I really like this knife. I like using it. That's the most important part. The action is great with the skiff, uh, whew, with the skiff bearings. Um, but not just that, you know, just using it, it feels good in the hand. It works really good. Um, I like the blade shape, love the blade shape. Um, the ergos are good. And it feels like a solid knife. Some people might not like the fact that there are no weight relief. It has no weight relief. It's just two slabs of titanium. But I kind of like it. It has a good, strong feel to it. Now, I would have liked to have seen a little bit bigger stop pin, but it's not that big of a deal. So I'm not going to put it in a bat or anything like that. It's just something I would have preferred. But man it has a good weight to it nice good balance to it um i mean not saying that it's like a crazy balance knife but it just feels good in the hand when you're cutting and using it and that's the important part so i really do like the knife and yeah and i know zero tolerance has good action across the board so you know even a factory uh zt is going to have great action meaning like with the factory bearings and everything so yeah this one's just a little bit better with the skiff um, bearings. But I do kind of worry about them getting gunk in them now. Like, is that going to be a consistent thing? Because the bearings are loose bearings. Even though they fit nice and snug in the the um, the cage, because it's a big, thick brass cage. Two thick um, brass cages. And even though there's that, I wonder if they're going to keep getting gunk in the pockets hopefully not um i guess we'll just you know the future we'll see but thank you guys for watching talica thank you for letting me check out some of your knives again peace